Hey friends, welcome aboard to Cold Lake, Alberta. I'm Tyson Olney, high atop Imperial Place here in Cold Lake as we get set up for, well, game number two of the day, featuring the St. Albert Storm and the Edmonton Chaos as we get things going. It'll be a little bit easier here this afternoon calling this hockey game. It's not the Chaos versus the Chaos, but the Chaos reign at the end of the day. We've had back-to-back 1-1 -back -one ties to start stuff up here over the past two games, so we'll be interested to see what these two teams bring this evening, or this afternoon, this morning. What 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 time of day is it? Where am I? What planet is this? No, just kidding. It's uh it's 11:25. It's been an all right start. We're having a 9 a.m. game on a good Friday is never a bad time, and we're fired up for what should be a good hockey game here this morning as we will ride into the early afternoon. Everything getting fired up here throughout the uh, throughout the weekend now as we're officially on Friday day two of the well live stream and stuff and obviously Hockey Alberta Provincials this is U15 tier one female division Hockey Alberta Provincial Championships for the year 2024 glad to have you aboard see everybody's just slowly trickling into the stream here so we'll take our time hey end of the day everybody's probably just getting out of bed there's stuff to do on good Friday in the morning I'm sure obviously got to take care of stuff some folks still probably working as well and now we're getting fired up as we've got some waves from the bench to the group of moms walking by to the far side of the rink there and we're going to see what this uh, game develops into obviously st albert uh, matched up against the ghc squad earlier yesterday and then chaos played chaos so that would have been cochran for edmonton yesterday as it'll be a more regional matchup here in this game st albert versus edmonton and we'll see what uh, develops here as we go along with friends. Glad to have you aboard. Is looking forward to hopefully just as much action as we had in that Irma versus GHC game. That was a 1-1 game that definitely could have played out to a much different outcome had it not been for the defense and the goaltending in that hockey game. And late dramatics there by Irma to fire a shot from the slot and find the back of the net off a stick. And it ends up rolling up to a 1-1 score by the end of it. And I'm just glad to have you aboard here this afternoon. i got to keep talking because I will tell you one thing in the live streaming business on YouTube is if I let ACDC come on the airwaves here and make their entire impact known, well, let me tell you, I ain't going to have a live stream left for you to watch once this game's over. So I'll keep nattering on about nothing, but we'll, uh, we'll get somewhere here eventually. We're just waiting for warm-ups to start. There's... Uh, thing right in provincial it's at 11 30 game time so that's when more will start and the funny part about how this all works is some teams are ready to go right five minutes before some teams hit the benches just as warm-up starts and uh, right now st albert's been on the benches all excited to get this one going obviously this is kind of a hard game to wait for right you can't really have a proper morning routine you still got to go through your pre-game warm-ups and stuff like that on dry land before getting into the game so right now uh st albert a little geared up for this one we'll see if they've got the uh, feet moving to begin this hockey game and edmonton just down the other tunnel trying to get to the benches now there's the edmonton squad on the other side we are ready to rock and roll for this afternoon's hockey game as we'll get fired up and i'm going to be interested here i can't see the socks on the edmonton uh, squad but i will be interested to see if the chaos are rocking that pink and black stripe on alternating socks and See if that's still a part of their theme for their uniforms here on the road white. St. Albert in the home blues after wearing the road yellows yesterday. And of course the Edmonton squad wearing the, uh, well I guess you could say the LA Kings colors. So the road whites and the home blacks as they've got the silver and black on the sleeve there. And time runs down. We're ready for warm up here. Everybody being told nobody's put the nets out, though. That's the one thing that hasn't happened yet in this hockey game. Interested to know it's there, as I don't know what's going on, as both teams will knock down the nets. And we're live here in Cold Lake on the big screen now. Tyson, get up. Let's go. We got a warm-up to get going. Of course, friends, I heard from the St. Albert side here this morning that uh, those of you back home in St. Albert are pretty happy with how things are looking up here in Cold Lake this, uh, this weekend. I appreciate the kind words. Of course, I will say to anybody that has a name correction for me, we're still early on in this one. You can still get to me and uh, get me to say it right for sure. And i got to find the Edmonton roster here, and then we'll be rolling as we try to figure this out. As I think I lost uh, 
I lost a page somewhere. Or no, 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 no. This is one of those beautiful ones. Back-to-back -back pages. You know, it never works so perfect during a provincial tournament that the rosters always line up exactly how you need them to. And that, for me right now, will be on a back-to-back -back page. So hence, why I've got two programs on the table. Thinking ahead for once here, Tice. And we'll get going to the Edmonton Chaos roster and of course as well the St. Albert Storm as both teams taking warm-ups here. Patrick doing a fantastic job getting things going back there. Brian and Dustin in the broadcast booth there getting everything going in terms of the video side. All right, so the St. Albert Storm, number two, Raiden Schatz, number three, Sydney Liu, number four, Lauren Tellier, number 15, or number five, Rochelle Champagne, number six, Jersey Ashton, number seven, Carly Wilson, number eight, Ava Miller, Number 9, Taya Park. Number 10, Adeline Goltz. Number 11, Emma Fadiniak. Number 12, Rachel Kaczkowski. Number 13, Autumn Smith. Number 14, Clea Baldassar. Number 15, Faith Brunouge. Number 16, Addison Lundin. Number 17, Ella Barkley. Number 18, Jaden Legasic. And number 21, Peyton Suter in net as well. What we know from the last game looks to be going here this afternoon as well. Number 29, Karina Wall for the St. Albert Storm. The Edmonton Chaos now are as follows. Number two, Trinity Link. Number three, Aubrey Reich. Number four, Mikhail Laboukan. Number six, Isabella Reed. Number seven, Abigail Hahn. Number eight, Amy Lemaire. Number nine, Sophia Appleman. Number 10, Mia Isabella Collin. Number 11, Amelia, uh, why did I say that? Amelia Owens, my apologies. Taryn Mocknack is number 13, number 14, Samantha Lee, number 15, Ashley Tustin, number 17, Haley Duana, number 18, Rachel Ayaz, number 20, Charlie Donovan, and number 31, in net, which I assume we will see again after a good performance last night, Emma Taylor. So there you go, friends. Those are your lineups here this afternoon as we get things fired up for action here in Cold Lake this afternoon as we'll continue to pan around the crowd here and get things going on the ice as we continue to wait out this hockey game a buck 30 to go in today's pregame warm-up and then we'll be ready to rock and roll for this afternoon's second game of the day as both goaltenders settling in here in during warm-up and a little bit more i think you could say color to those uh Edmonton Girls Hockey Association Chaos jerseys. They've got pink stripe and a black stripe on both socks. And hold on. What? Yeah, I'm just using the program. Thank you, though. There we go. Everybody's taking care of me. That's the nice part about this. Everybody takes such good care of me when I'm here. 5.30 or 53 seconds to go before warm ups are over. It's almost like I'm at home. Well, technically I am. Spent a lot of time in Cold Lake, obviously born and raised, and now sitting down in southern Alberta enjoying those mountains. But let me tell you, it's going to be a good weekend here the rest of the way home in Cold Lake. As uh, I don't know if you've seen too many shots of the lounge, but of course, if you're thinking about coming up and it's like, well, you know, sit back, relax, there's no better place to do that. But in the lounge here in Cold Lake at the arena, nice little simple step back and I'm sure that uh, somehow some way the proceeds from the lounge here this weekend are going to benefit the tournament somehow some way so definitely uh, if you're interested in coming on out come hang out and sit down and enjoy a little something something while you're also uh, enjoying some very good provincials hockey here this weekend glad to have you along as well I guess I should make mention there is a 50-50 here um, find somebody in house that's hanging out and enjoying things uh, here in Cold Lake this weekend. Tell them to go find the 50-50 QR code, send it to you, and you, can, you two can get in on the 50-50 here for Hockey Alberta this weekend. 20 minutes on the clock here in the first period as we're about to set things up for the second game of the day, the St. Albert Storm, the EGHA Chaos, I guess, would be the abbreviation for the Edmonton side as we'll get things set up for this afternoon's hockey game in just a brief moment we'll have O Canada and I've been promised we've got a new edition of O Canada here if uh, Dustin's figured out the audio truly and actually here as he figures he has I think he has he's pretty good at what he does right you can trust Dustin with the audio you can't trust Tyson with the audio that much we know 
Well, let's see here what we got. We got the chance going on from both teams here, and then with 20 minutes to go in this first period, we'll get underway. In a matter of moments, no? All good? All good. I was like, hold on. Somebody's on my shoulder. All right, here we go, friends. I guess that should also be my cue to stand up. Sitting down on the job's not really the style in the broadcast booth here in Cold Lake, and both teams chant no. Here we go. We're going to rock and roll with O Canada in a brief moment once both teams take to the benches and get things going. And we'll see what we can do here in a matter of moments. As it looks like, uh, oh, actually, there is Rochelle Champagne. Please rise if you're able and remove your hats for the play. center ice face off to begin this afternoon's hockey game friends for those of you watching aboard make sure uh if anyone's wondering where to find the link uh get somebody to come find me here in the building i can share out the link easy enough for today's live stream we got a face off here at center ice as ella barkley will get things going for the st albert storm and the face off here is both center Let's talk things over at the dot, just waiting for Lavacan to tighten up the helmet, and then we'll get things going for this afternoon's game. 20 minutes on the clock, both benches cheering loud here. Looks like St. Albert up there in the lounge, getting things going as well as Barkley will take the face off against Donovan. Donovan down in the dot as heavy on that stick as possible as this one will come down to Fedeniak, and it'll come across the... Edmonton line now picked up by Barkley, chipped in ahead by Donovan. Donovan working across the line here, trying to get down deep into that far side corner for the Edmonton Chaos. To the front of the net, Labucan fires the shot, can't get it through. And now back the other way, St. Albert's going to start out. 19.36 to go here in this first period of play across the line. Shot towards the net, goes wide by St. Albert. And out there from uh, Adam, Adam Smith as it comes back in front. Rebound opportunity for Barkley, goes wide. I'll come back to the top of the zone now for Lou, who will work on out out of the St. Albert or out of the Edmonton zone across the line here. Is that uh, sorry Trinity Link? As this one will be fired on the backhand, save made by Wall near side corner. It comes along the wall now, picked up by Hahn. Hahn sees it go past, and Reich will pick this puck up and fire back onto the tape of the chaos as they try to re-enter the St. Albert Storm zone. This one already a minute oh five in. As Edmonton in behind the net, Owens will go chasing into the near side corner. Battling there, back to the blue line it comes. Han falls down. This may be an opportunity for the St. Albert side. A good recovery defensively there at the blue line, keeping the line for the Edmonton Chaos. And St. Albert forced to chase in behind their own net. 18.35 to go here in this first period of play. One thing that St. Albert's avoided that uh, Cochrane did not last time out against the Edmonton Chaos was the quick strike nine seconds in. Edmonton struck for their only goal of the game. Opportunity. <laughs> A little bit of coughing right there. Is caught air on the wrong way. 18.08 to go here in this first period of play. St. Albert so far so good in the defensive zone as Edmonton's had some pressure here. Another opportunity for Ashton to get out. And Will in support there was Park. And it comes back down low into the St. Albert zone with 17.53 to go in this first period of play. Puck rolling around there. Bruno 
in behind, taken down by, I believe, Reed, as this one comes right in front for the Chaos, batted off the pillows of Wall, and a save made right there with 17.37 to go back the other way. St. Albert to the attack now, trying to get across the line, turned back by Lee of the Chaos, and the Chaos will load up the attack, Edmonton across, here's Donovan getting the attack here, trying to push this one forward, can't do it, across the line it comes, fired in there by Lee, and in behind the St. Albert net once again, Labucan there for Edmonton, turned back quickly there by St. Albert, Wilson couldn't pick up and carry, and it'll be Colin firing it back in for Edmonton. Tellier in behind for the St. Albert Storm. This one in the near side for Wilson. Pass to the middle of the ice. Going to find a stick of shots waiting in the middle. Fire it in. And here's St. Albert now trying to get in on the dump in for their first real good zone time of the game. As this goes to the far side. Picked up by Edmonton. Back to the middle of the ice. And it comes floating out into the St. Albert zone. Picked up by Wilson. Now near side pass over to Tellier. Tellier bats it ahead. As this one comes now in to the middle of the ice for Edmonton, fire the shot, goes up over top of the net and wide into that near side corner. Continuing to roll around there, it'll be freed up by St. Albert, batted out to Smith at the blue line, gets it out, Link will fire it back in for Edmonton. And it goes now down to Lundin, looking to make this play around in behind the net as Lundin continues to carry, fires around to the far side for Smith. Edmonton definitely the better of the zone time so far through the first four minutes. No, not many, uh, many shots as of yet to really show for it. Here's possibly one fired off the side of the net there. Back in front, rebound opportunity for Reed as it continues to jam around there. Nobody could find it, and Tustin has it at the point for Edmonton. Fired off the side of the net. Back behind, Reed's trying to poke it out in front. Both teams jamming up there along the end wall, and it'll now come back to the point for Tustin. Edmonton starting to really throw pucks towards the net or in that general 10-foot radius around the goal line as this one will be now picked up by Fadiniak and fired out into the middle of the ice. Tustin sees it off her stick over to Barkley. Barkley will see it go back down low behind a wall and into the corner it comes to Tellier. Tellier will fire up along the wall there. Turned over to Donovan. Donovan along the wall will go in behind. Cut out to the front. Poked off the stick last second. And Labucan will quickly regroup for the Edmonton Chaos as it keeps coming down low. Shot fired along the wall, takes a funny hop, bounce in front, rebound opportunity for Labucan in behind. Deny their shot, scores! Donovan in front, jabs at home on Wall who had made one, two, three, four, quite a few saves in a row. And finally it's Donovan who scores the goal just 5-0-4 into the hockey game. For the Edmonton Chaos, they have definitely earned the better of the zone time so far to begin this hockey game. Get rewarded for it up one nothing. And as we saw last game out there, I believe for St. Albert Storm, it was the tale of they gave up a couple goals and then responded pretty well the rest of the way home. So be interesting to see how much they respond here in this one. Now down one nothing to begin. Puck padded back in. <laughs> Goal scored by number 20, Charlie Donovan. Assist to number four, Mikhail Labakin. Time of the goal, 14.56. Donovan from Labakin at 14.56. Shot loading up, tipped on net, shot rebound opportunity, swallowed up by the pad of Emma Taylor, and we will have a stop gym play with 14.10 to go in this first period of play, a one nothing chaos lead so far early on in this one. Friends, welcome aboard to Cold Lake Ice TV. Glad to have you aboard for the ride here in Cold Lake. I'm Tyson Olney with your call of this afternoon's game. Face off, going back to the point, and this one's going to be worked now by the chaos out to the blue line and back into the neutral territory where Lynx got it at the St. Albert line. Spun around, able to get it down deep. Now it's Bruno, or, uh, sorry, Baldessar with the puck for the storm. Fired around the near side. Wilson's up with the puck now and a shot fired down low by the chaos. 13.47 to go. Puck over there by Reich to the far side. Link fires the shot. Save made by Wall. <laughs> 
We would like to thank our bronze level sponsors for their generous sponsorship. Boone Energy, Lake City GM, and Runcer Industrial Services. I can guarantee that. If we're in for a good good Friday finish off crowd here on the third game of the day. Right now though, St. Albert and Edmonton showing up so far early on in this one. That one again, one of those ones the referees have made it rather apparent that they're not going to blow the whistle if there isn't someone below the dots pretty much here uh, for, for the opposing team. So that's what we've seen develop over the past few games. Batted off the back of the net there by Edmonton trying to get it out in front. Now it does come out front. Just unfortunately, unlike last time, Link not the right-handedness to pull the trigger on that line like Donovan did earlier on in this hockey game's first period. Wilson battling there. It's going to be Owens able to fight the puck deep, lose balance, and St. Albert clears out with 12.54 to go as it's chased back into the zone by Mia Isabella Collin. In behind the shot, fired, tipped right in front uh, on its way, and then... It was Lundin firing it back, and here now an opportunity for Barkley in on the attack. Ella Barkley can't turn it back, and Lundin's going to fire the shot towards the net that never ends up hitting, and it's going to go over to Smith now on the far side. Guy had a good idea here a while ago about a pure leaf ice tee. I don't know, I remember that. How about this opportunity now for St. Albert? Picked up now by Reed back the other way. Here's a two-on-two -two for Edmonton. Reed can carry the puck. Not much we learned the other game. Shot fired towards the net. Save made by Wall. And with 12-13 to go, we'll have a stop in play here in this first period of play. So we're rolling along. This one a little bit more whistles, I think, than the uh, previous few games by the feels of it. This one not quite moving as fast as the other one. We do have a goal. We have a couple of face-offs and some good opportunities for the Edmonton chaos so far early on in this hockey game as this one comes down along the wall now. Picked up there by Donovan. Donovan's going to try and battle off the wall. Good seal of the stick there. Kept the puck along the wall just enough to keep away from the St. Albert Storm. And then an opportunity to get it in front of the net. And it's a shot on wall that gloved down, swallowed up. 11.57 to go here in this first period of play. Here's the thing, I, I would not want to be the chaos right now and take a penalty. If you think you've got the uh, St. Albert Storm in a good uh, situation right now after the chaos, a penalty here would kind of change that. It was the Storm earlier on this weekend on Thursday with an absolute clinic. Four straight special teams opportunities aced every single one of them. And that's, I don't know, maybe we'll see as the weekend evolves along if that's where they're going to really shine. This one's forced out to the neutral zone as the Chaos will fire it back into the Storm end. 11.40 to go so far, and we're hoping, unlike the last two games of the uh, tournament here, we don't have near as many penalties. That, of course, a deciding factor in the math when it comes to the standings as well. So kind of one of those situations where there's a whole bunch of things that could kind of work out here. Welcome to Hockey Alberta Provincial Championships, presented by ATB. On behalf of all the participating teams, Hockey Alberta would like to thank everyone who has helped make this event a success. For updated scores and standings throughout the weekend, go to haprovincials.ca. All of the tiebreakers can end up being by the end of the weekend. And that's where we're going to see kind of how the math shakes out. We've had two 1-1 one -one ties now. And obviously that's where we're going to start seeing the penalty minutes become crucial. We're going to start seeing those other goals, four goals against, come crucial. And it's going to be met up in the middle now. An opportunity for the chaos to get this one through. As St. Albert swats it back and trying to get it back on to an offensive side of half. Kachkowski fires it into the far side. Legasic's going to go chasing after it. 10.40 to go here in the, this first period. Edmonton's able to move out off the blue line and back into the St. Albert zone. Brunouge is able to get up with that puck and fire it into that bench area. And I swear, every single time that puck goes to those open gates, I have been freaking out all game, all tournament because we saw in the first two games too, too many player calls pretty much going right against teams doing that exact line change, forcing the puck up the wall while making the change. And the linesmen were not too uh, kind in those first few teams in the tournament. And this one's going to come back. Shots going to fire it in. Can't get it past the defense of the Edmonton 
squad, and it's the other side too. Edmonton's been very uh, stingy defensively throughout the tournament, and we'll see what happens here. Shot save made by Wall, and that's a stop in play, and now we got a little something, so I think it was, uh, I think uh, Lemaire and Reed just double checking on kind of the situation coming out of that net front presence. There's 9.53 to go. In this first period of play, friends, welcome aboard this afternoon. Glad to have you. As we're going to have a too many player situation on the ice lining up for the face off. As there we go. Gonna go here now for Fidiniak and who's that? Uh, Sophie Appleman playing that one, and that will be a hard collision in the middle of the ice. It's a couple of coaches yelling about something, and this one will be fired off the side of somebody in front, and it'll be back to the blue line. An opportunity now for Tustin to fire. The shot goes up over top of the net, and that's two pucks in a row on two shots that I completely lost sight of. This is uh, this is not good if that's where we're at on a Friday afternoon. Barkley back the other way. Smith is going to roll across the line. Onside, Faniniak is going to go down low. Look for this puck in the near side corner. St. Albert now getting a little bit of zone time here, trying to gun up the attack for the first time in a little bit, as that one's going to escape the zone. What a kick there by the Edmonton squad to get it out of the zone. And here's now Reed loading up the attack. It's turned back by St. Albert, and suddenly this one's starting to turn into exactly that defensive clinic that we saw in the game last night from the Edmonton Chaos. Uh, both teams now bearing down defensively. Here as this first period gets into the back half. 8.50 to go. And this will be at the blue line. Here's Edmonton kicking it across the line. Uh, it's Lab no, sorry, that's Lee in the corner as Labutan comes in right behind for support. Now Tellier trying to lean on Lee and get it to the far side wall. Not a jam shot there for Lee. Ties up in the skates. Second opportunity and Wall already down in the butterfly, standing in the position, just waiting for that puck to come. Early morning practices, late night team meetings, fundraisers, big sales, and road trips. Being a hockey parent is a full time job. That's why ATB is delighted to be the presenting sponsor of Hockey Alberta Provincial Championships. To help celebrate the season, thank you for your commitment to your kids and Alberta. Over to the zone for the storm. It'll be fired back in by the chaos. That though has enough weight for icing. Suter back and 8.09 to go here in this first period of play. It's a still a one nothing lead for the Edmonton Chaos. Like I said, I'm I'm why I'm not worried about either squad yet. Obviously I know the Edmonton Chaos, they get a lead and they'll sit on it for as long as possible. Based on a previous record there in the first game last night, as well for the St. Albert Storm. Wait until the second period. Wait until we get a penalty or something going on here, and we'll see what ends up coming. There's 7.59 to go of backhand there for Lou across to Legasic, and it comes tied up along the wall there. Park's taken down, and right there on cue, there is the penalty I'm talking about. And we'll see what uh, now comes of it for St. Albert with 7.50 to go here in this first period. So St. Albert did their best work on the special teams yesterday. They'll get their first chance here. And Edmonton obviously did a fine job all throughout that game. So the same report on the other side, I guess you could say, is we'll have the face-off to the left of Taylor. We'll do this back to the point. The shot's going to be drifted down in that far side corner, picked up by St. Albert, right in front. Legasic backhands off the pads of Taylor. That one a dangerous chance in front. <laughs> Edmonton penalty to number 18, Rachel He has. Two minutes for tripping. That's Rachel Ehas tripping at 7.50. Back across the line to the far side, Legasic. Gonna fire this puck. Shot tipped on net by Ashton. A big time recovery save there for Taylor in front. And we'll have a stoppage in play with 7.19 and buck 29 to go in the power play for St. Albert. Here we go. First dangerous opportunity on the power play there for St. Albert. They'll get a change and try and set something up here with some new lines out there as it'll be Barkley back on the face off to Goltz. Goltz around down deep now for Fideniak. Fideniak rolling around the wall there. Comes back to the near side for Lou. Lou will fire down along the wall. Fideniak there 
crunched along the wall, pushing and shoving, trying to free that puck up. Is coming in support was Barkley. Here's an opportunity for Fidinia fired off a skate. It'll be Barkley into the corner. Bucko six to go here, and this is some solid zone time here on the power play. Wraparound opportunity for St. Albert. Back to the point now. Smith trying to force it down deep instead. Turned out by Edmonton. And we'll be back into the St. Albert zone. Giving chase. Edmonton right on the forecheck shorthanded. Trying to make sure Lemaire out there. Trying to make sure it uh, stays in the zone a little longer. Smith though turn and burn back the other way. Here's Smith leaving it on for Barkley. Couldn't skate into it. Now Edmonton will wire it around to the far side. Man advantage though. And that will allow the St. Albert squad to go over to the far side. Shot fired in behind. 6.20 to go here in this first period of play. With 30 seconds remaining in the power play. Tied up along the near side wall there. And this will continue to roll. And now here's Smith firing the shot. Flutters up into the top of the air. Right in front of the crease there. And then Edmonton able to gather. Fire down the ice and get it out. And St. Albert's got one last chance at a rush up the ice. Short or man advantage side. And then we'll see. What they can do is it's going to be fired down into the St. Albert zone. That will kill the clock on the penalty. Reed gets an opportunity on that blocked in front. Brunus. First one to it for St. Albert, fires it up, and here comes now Park right into the pile as Legasic's able to free it up. Ashton's trying to find that in the sticks. It's Park who pokes it ahead. Park and Ashton back the other way. Ashton across the line. Park looking to make the play on the pass, and Park will instead skate down in behind. Donovan able to get there and skate that one out as it'll come back now the other way. Donovan through the middle of the ice, three wide there as Lee will get to the puck. Now shot fired, save made by Wall. With 5.17 to go, that was a good rush up the ice there for Edmonton in response to what so far was a good power play for the uh, for the St. Albert side. Donovan in the face-off now for Edmonton against Baldassar. As we'll have it drawn up right on a tie-up, forced ahead off the draw there by Donovan last second. Along the wall it comes, Wilson's going to bat off the wall get out into the neutral zone. We got five minutes remaining in this first period, if you can believe it or not. That's moving along. He's dipping this afternoon. You like to see that as we continue on. Now an opportunity across the line for Edmonton. As Labucan will get it going. Lee, back to the blue line. Colin fires the shot down and now picked up by St. Albert. Fired up along the wall. Turned back. Suter was. 4.47 to go here in this first period of play. And this goes to the far side. Back now for Baldassar and Baldassar alongside Wilson on the um, opportunity. No, no call on that one. Uh, as that was 4.30 to go as one of the players for St. Albert goes down in the line. Here's Tellier on the recovery though. St. Albert still with the puck in the offensive zone. Down low as Edmonton will look to regroup and get out of the zone here as it'll be anchor off the boards and down low into St. Albert territory. But that will be an icing call with 4.16 to go and a one nothing. Edmonton lead here early on in this hockey game. We're continuing along, friends. For what's been a good one so far. Both teams, some good chances here. And St. Albert, of course, like I said, give them a power play and they'll show you what they can do. And that was exactly what happened there. St. Albert pushed along the wall. Smith goes down and it's pushed back to the blue line by Edmonton. The shot ripped from the point, blocked in front off the stick there. For St. Albert, that was Ava Miller ripping the shot from the point. Now trying to force it in front. Smith couldn't do it. And this one will come back now to the blue line. Where it'll be Barkley with the puck. Barkley will bat off the wall. And this will be backhanded in the middle of the ice. Now Talia giving chase, trying to keep that on side. Had drifted back to guard against the one man rush and couldn't do it. Now the shot fired towards the net. Blocked in front. Another opportunity for Edmonton as it's swatted away last second from the tape. Of the chaos player on the near side. And now Smith will try and work this off the wall. Gets it done there against the Edmonton Chaos with 325 to go here in this first period of play. one nothing the score here, as you can see on the clock. It's guest is the chaos and home is St. Albert. As this one will work back out into the middle of the zone. Tellier kicks it off the skates, and that will go now down behind the net where Tellier will meet it for the St. Albert side backhanded off the tape. Karina Wall is able to stick that one away and then St. Albert quickly works it out with 2.58 to go here as Edmonton once again gets back to the attack. 
over the pass a little bit here, getting some chances on net. Goltz turns it back on the pass to read on the neutral zone. Now St. Albert's got a chance to fire that one off the boards, couldn't do it. And when they work back the other way, shot fired down to the near side. Here's Reed with the puck, looking to fire it on net. Goes just wide of wall right there. I've got a chair in my way. I should really take care of that as I try to sit down here. Just getting my hand. Hard to stand up here as we approach the middle part of this afternoon's action, right? Well, by the time we're halfway through this game, we're halfway through the day as it comes into that near side corner. St. Albert, first one to it. Ashton in the backhand, forehand, tries to tuck far side. Denied by Taylor. And this one comes back out into the neutral zone. Suter's going to try and reload the attack almost immediately up off the wall. Picking it there is Ashton in the middle of the ice looking for the pass. Suter's going to try and cue it back up one more time. Edmonton back the other way. Here's Donovan along the wall. Donovan pushed in the middle, fired towards the net. It hit somebody in front and went off the side of the netting and shot fired again off the side. That off the skate of wall that time with a buck 43 to go here in the first period of play. This one works now to the middle of the ice and it'll be picked up by Edmonton as they get a couple bang bang chances right there on the corner post of wall as this one will now work in the center of the ice here it continues to ramble around there with a buck 30 to go offside Edmonton one nothing to chaos lead here in this first period of play and here on the replay we're going to get an opportunity to look at that chance for Ashton going right out of the corner pickpocket tap one two one two couldn't quite get it now Baldessar will take the face off against Donovan face off one of the near side boards by Edmonton Donovan goes, uh, sorry, Lavacan goes down and ends up taking out being one of the line's officials. And here's now Wilson back the other way. Wilson will tap this one out into the middle of the ice. As this is going to be fired up off a body there of right and back down and ends up hitting Taylor in the pads on the way down with a buck exactly remaining here in this first period of play. Shot fired in the middle of the ice. Wilson will get it down to Brunouge. Brunouge looking to work through the middle it's going to be turned back by link link ends up throwing a hit right there and that will go uncalled and we will have a stop in play as there is a st albert player down on the play Tending to the St. Over player. It looks like Wilson will go back to both feet, and Charlie Wilson will head off to the bench. Looking no worse for wear, just needed a moment to get back to the feet. We'll get a face off here and get back to action with 41.8 seconds to go in this first period of play. Barkley will take the face off for St. Albert. One back now by Edmonton. This one chipped out to the near side boards. Reed will try and take that one there and this will be tapped by Barkley on Fideniak. Fideniak across the far side now for Smith. 29 seconds remaining in this first period. Here's Reed against Tellier. Uh, push into the middle. Reed fires the shot. Scores! Blocker side on wall. Puts the Edmonton chaos up 2-0. Turned around. Tellier found the back of the net. And just like that, the chaos take a 2-0 lead here late in this first period. Good play right there by Reed. Cut into the middle. Kind of had... Tellier turning around and then fires blocker side on the sliding wall. And now this is not unusual territory so far this tournament for St. Albert. They had a couple of goals go against them and then they responded pretty well here earlier yesterday against, I believe, the GFC squad. So we'll see what Edmonton goal happens. scored by number six, Isabella Reed. Time of the goal, 23 seconds. Reed unassisted at 23 seconds. Down in the 
the corner. So time will run out. And Lundin will quickly check on Ashton, who had went down along the wall there. And we will have a break for this first period of play. And friends, I'm going to quickly run and grab something to eat. So we're going to meet myself.
Hey friends, welcome back inside Cold Lake, Alberta's Imperial Oil Place at the Cold Lake Energy Center as we get set up for period number two upcoming here. The referees on the ice here. And now all of a sudden you got as well the Edmonton Chaos coming down along the wall or along the tunnel or the benches. Which means, friends, we are set up for this second period of play in about a minute's time. I want to make mention. I have asked some questions obviously throughout this tournament in terms of pronunciations, in terms of random things I notice, and you get a lot of time to notice things during provincial tournaments. Well, one thing I noticed, and I couldn't quite figure it out, is right the Edmonton Chaos have a pretty much predominantly silver, gray, whatever you want to call it, white and black uniform. But coming out last night, they had a pink stripe on their uh, sock leg on the one side. And now this morning, they all have on the away uniforms two pink stripes. That, an Easter decoration, a bonding thing for the team that has taken a life of its own throughout the season, something they did during Valentine's Day, something they did during St. Patrick's Day, and now, well, Provincials just happens to fall on Easter weekend. It is Good Friday, after all, and they're decorated up for Easter here this weekend in Cold Lake. So, interesting little note right there as we'll get the uh, face off at center ice here as we resume action here this second period ready to get underway St. Albert down 2-0 to the Edmonton Chaos to begin things here for this second period I'm going to try and clear my throat a little bit here is just trying to munch down lunch at the same time as we get things kind of progressing throughout the day here it'll be Lee going down in that corner as the Edmonton Chaos will go around the ice one more time Looks like we might have a little delay here, or more so the ice might have a little... Oh, you know what? I saw this the other week. I saw this in, uh, where was it? Car stairs the other week. Seeing the ice need to be chewed up a little bit by the players prior to getting the puck floating around out there. This time the referees notice it before the period gets back underway. So something we uh, don't see all too often. And uh, the players have a little bit of fun with it here now, diving around on the ice and enjoying a pause in the action, a brief moment to have a little bit of fun with it as we'll skate back to center ice. The referees content with the situation by the looks of it. They're talking things over one more time. Oh, all right, we'll discuss it a little bit more. That St. Albert's going to go for the face-off. And... Nope, just kidding. Lundin and crew are going to go in behind the net here and try and get this going, so... We're going to have a little bit of fun with this, I guess, as both teams just kind of sitting back, getting excited for this second period. This is a big period. Obviously, the St. Albert Storm looking to get back in this hockey game here. Face off now at center ice as the Storm and Chaos resume things here. One back by the Storm. Scrambled over the far side for Suter. Suter will see it back to the defense. As this will be Lundin playing to the near side for the uh, St. Albert side. Sorry, I've got my score sheets all wrong here. We'll go back the other way. Ice and call against Edmonton. Or St. Albert, sorry. We'll switch sides. Long change in the second period, Tice. Remind yourself that, bud. All right. Face off in the St. Albert zone to the right of wall. We're going to have Donovan take the face off for the chaos. As it'll be down to the right in one time. By nobody, it actually sat there a moment. Goltz will be on the puck now. In behind Donovan, able to steal it away. To the far side it goes. Suter will bounce up the board. Shot loading. Doesn't come in. Now Donovan's got it at the high slot. The shot fired. Save made by Wall. And it goes in behind. Labucan will go back down to the point. Bounced off the wall there. And Colin able to bang it along the boards. But it's snapped out by the St. Albert Storm all the way down. And that, my friends, is as close as to perfect draw weight as you're going to get on an icing call. That one all the way down. Perfectly placed by the St. Albert Storm. The attack now coming in waves here. Trying to get that four check going with St. Albert. 18.57 to go. It comes back into the St. Albert zone. Edmonton first to the puck. Bounces in front. Shot blocked and save made by Karina Wall. As it comes back to the blue line. Chipping it there is one of the Edmonton players. It will come back across the other way now. Falling is Suter, and that will be a tripping call there. 
And this will now be a power play for St. Albert, who again generated their best chance of the game on the power play earlier. So we'll see if they have that in their fortunes again here. Sorry, friends, just trying to get a little bit of water in me, get a little bit of food digestion here. Lunch was abbreviated, and we'll try and brush it off here in the second intermission. Face off to the left of Taylor. As we'll have it come down to the near side now. Picked up by Smith. Kicked back to Miller. Miller sees it down to Fadiniak. Shot fired off the pads of Taylor. It'll go to the far side. Knocked out of the zone. Edmonton penalty to number seven, Abigail Hain. Two minutes for hooking. Time of the penalty, 18.34. Hain hooking at 18.34. Chasing there, Edmonton trying to make sure the clock keeps ticking down. 30 seconds already gone in the penalty to Edmonton. They'll come back, fired back down low. Miller off the wall, and that one tangles up at the side of the net. Miller, though, gets the steal away from the Edmonton forecheck, and the pass through the middle is going to be cut off by Tustin. Tustin's going to fire back the other way now into St. Albert's zone. Goes down in behind Wall and St. Albert trying to start out this power play with a minute 05 to go. The puck rolling now picked up by Smith. Smith's going to get going here the other way. Smith across center. Fires it onto the skates of Barkley into the corner. It will be an icing call on the puck. Four seconds go. Paul Swisher is proud supporter of a Hockey Alberta Provincial Championship. And wishes good luck to all participants. Life's a trip. Make the most of Best Western. Use Hockey Alberta code bestwesternalberta.com. That's bestwesternalberta.com backslash hockey. St. Albert, the shot loads from Reed blocked in front. Scrambles through a couple of defenders. Lundin's able to grab it for St. Albert. It'll come back the other way to the far side now as it'll bounce off the wall as St. Albert tries to bust out. Ashton tried to get that puck through the neutral, couldn't do it. Now Ashton's loading up the support. Turnover there by Lundin. Poked off the stick. Ashton's going to get tangled up there for St. Albert. Lou's trying to find this one in the skates. Edmonton doing good pressure here with 19 seconds to go in the power play for St. Albert. Along the end wall, it's 2 nothing for the chaos. We're just over three minutes into this second period as it's through the middle now onto the tape of Ashton. Ashton dancing through the middle of the ice there. A good cut to the middle, almost had it, poked off her stick last second. And now here's Ashton trying to push it back to park. Couldn't do it along the wall. It comes to the point, the shot loads in. Oh, what a chance there as it dribbled through everybody. And then it still had pressure on it. Tellier got the shot through, and Taylor still had to kick that one away. 16-16 to go. The puck's back in the St. Albert zone. Goltz rolling around back there with it. Bouncing it off the boards. Legasic to the near side. Bouncing it to the middle. Here's Reich back down low into the Edmonton zone as it comes back now for Lee. Lee will try and fire this one up into the St. Albert zone. Pass to the middle. Hops over the stick of Reich right onto the tape of Tustin shot fired off the pads of Wall and back the other way now comes St. Albert. Wall makes another big save there. Keep the game right where it is. Shots the first one to it for the St. Albert side. It's bashed down into the Edmonton zone and everybody take a breath. Ice and call. But I can't take a breath because the old copyright music will ding a guy up if we're not careful so. We'll keep being careful here this afternoon. Face off now. As uh, we'll come to the near side. One there by the St. Albert Storm. Miller rolling around the far side. Forced off the boards there by Peyton Suter. Suter down low. Got it in the Edmonton end. A nice and call. Just not on the right side of half. With 15.26 to go in this second period of play. We'll redo the face off inside. The St. Albert zone to their left of wall so here we go face off now for reich and i believe that would be clear well the sar as this will go back down low in behind the net area there picked up by Suter again helped along the wall there that time kept in by edmonton fired in by the chaos to the near side corner 
comes now all the way into that corner, kind of right where we lose the players for a brief moment. My apologies, still haven't quite nailed that down. We'll we'll have that for the championship game. Don't know where shot fired towards the net, drifts wide there from Edmonton. Opportunity now to the middle of the zone as that one drifts in from the point. Save made by Wall on the point shot there. <laughs> We would like to thank our Silver Level sponsors for their generous sponsorship. Collision Towing, Century 21 Ma Marcy Smith, and Apex Valve Services. broadcast, a perfect stream for you. Fans even waiting until the replay goes up on the board and up on the stream to go sit down. That is absolutely awesome. Thank you so much to everybody. Kindly helping along to make this stream the best it possibly can be, obviously, for those of you back at home. As this one will come along the wall now, picked up by St. Albert. They're going to try and bust out of their own zone to the near side as it comes now into the Edmonton zone. Shot fired up along the wall. Smith able to shoulder that one down. Now St. Albert's got a little bit of a jailbreak right in front. Scrambled into the feet of Taylor. Down, but not out. Kicks it away. And now St. Albert going to try and throw this one back again the other way. Smith got in on the attack. Couldn't quite find the puck, but Diniak will to go to the far side. It's going to battle off the wall there and down to the near side blue line. It's going to be St. Albert reloading the attack after the failed clearing attempt. Got out to the neutral zone, albeit, but uh, not much further for St. Albert. And now the shot loading. Edmonton will again clear this time to center ice. And Lou's got the puck for St. Albert, passing off off the wall to Smith. Smith tries to throw a pass to Fadiniak in the middle of the ice. Couldn't get there. Barkley trailing back as well as St. Albert. Five player unit back the other way. Apologies on Mike there. Just had to wipe off something as we'll go back the other way. Here's Smith to the middle of the ice. Fadiniak through the middle. We'll get chopped off the stick. And this will be fired by Hahn back into the neutral zone. Now picked up again. This one through the middle of the ice. Going for a little bit of a skate here is Hahn. And on net, puck goes to the far side wall. Back to the blue line it comes as the shot will be fired. Blocked in front. Picked up now by St. Albert. Firing into the middle of the ice. Edmonton able to keep the possession despite losing the zone. And then St. Albert busts through. And here onto the attack comes Ashton trying to dance right around. Couple of inside outs there, but just couldn't get the puck through completely. Ashton starting to pick up the puck a little bit more often here with uh, a little bit of open space here as this game wears on. Dangerous when having it. So here we go. This one's going to go to the far side corner. Back up along the wall, back to the point. The shot loading, fired towards the net. Goes up over top and it'll come to the near side corner as it's freed up in the middle now. Edmonton on the puck. Here's Link. Knocked off the stick to the blue line. Offside. St. Albert first ones to it. Play it back down low with 12.28 to go. Legasic will fire it to an open wing inside the Edmonton zone. Can't meet it. There is Ashton. As Ashton's still out there on this line. Trying to find that offense here for St. Albert that... Uh, well, we're almost halfway through the game, and they don't have a goal yet, so you know they're going to be starting pressing here soon. 12.08 remaining here in this second period of play. Back the other way, Edmonton. Trying to force this one into the St. Albert zone. It's finally going to go just wide of the skates of the official on the far side there, and it's picked up now by St. Albert in the near side corner. Rolling around there, looking for it to come off the board somewhere. It does to the point. Shot fired by Colin in the middle of the ice. Link knocks it down. Loved it right to the stick. Couldn't quite get that one through. And I as will get that puck now free. It'll be back the other way for Edmonton. Across the line, looking to rip the shot. Fired towards the net. Drifts just wide. And this will continue to roll around inside the St. Albert zone. Edmonton coming up with some good pressure here all of a sudden as this will go to Wilson far side, bank up along the wall for Baldassar. Puck to the blue line here, and it's Reed with it now for the chaos, poked off the stick, and I'm not sure who's cheering there for St. Albert. I'm hearing quite a lot of uproar every time St. Albert makes a small, noticeable play as this one comes back. Into the middle of the ice. Oh, it floats all the way down into the Edmonton zone. No ice and call. 10.47 to go here in this 
second period of play, 2 nothing. The lead for the Edmonton Chaos to the far side along the wall there. Edmonton tying up with St. Albert. Both teams whacking away at this puck. It's going to go into the corner back to the point. Wilson's able to seal it off there with 10 and a half to go in this second period of play. Off the wall, looking to make the play. Han will j jam it there. Sorry, was that maybe Haley Duana? I think that might have been... I actually, yeah, that's Haley Duana. My apologies. It's Donovan back the other way for Edmonton in behind the net now, pressuring one St. Albert defender down there against two Edmonton Chaos players. Planted back behind the wall. Lee with the puck now. Shot fired. And Wall will cover up four. <laughs> Ten minutes exactly left in the second. It's going to be the second. At this current moment, we're halfway done. Thank you for attending the Hockey Alberta Provincial Championships presented by ATB. Play hard, have fun, create memories that will last a lifetime. For updated scores and standings throughout the weekend, go to haprovincials.ca. Albert promptly ices the puck down the other way with 9.46 to go here in this second period of play. Friends, we're all along here. It's 2 nothing for the chaos on a good Friday as everybody's kind of hanging around the rink. We're starting to see a couple of more folks wander on in. Obviously, the Lakeland Jaguars and the Cochrane Chaos will face off here in about an hour and a half's time or so. Shot fired towards the net. Save made by Wall again. Jammed towards the net again. Another Edmonton Chaos chance. That one flipped up. Lincoln still loose. And the St. Albert Storm are able to survive the attack as Wall had covered that puck up. It flipped up and the save was made. Huge effort there from St. Albert to stay down to nothing on that one as everybody glove tapping on the way to the benches there. Defense bend, don't break. And St. Albert, you know, they're just looking for that one opportunity as they did last game against the GHC Inferno to turn the game on a dime. This one up along the wall. Legasic with it for St. Albert, tapped into the middle of the ice. Edmonton will smack it back down in that far side corner. Edmonton, to their credit, and what we learned last night is Edmonton is a team that they get a lead. It's no concern the rest of the way home. They've got good goaltending, and obviously, too, they've got defense that stands pretty tall out there. So Edmonton able to hang on last night for the 1-1 tie, and right now up 2-0 against the St. Albert Storm. Back the other way, this puck was tied up at the blue line and then it was pushed ahead by Park. Park gets it down low in behind the net. It comes to Ashton. Ashton is going to go along the wall. No contact called there as this one will come. You almost have to do the double take when you look around and see some of the harder body contact in this tournament. Is Hold on. Check both officials because I've been burned a couple times yesterday by not checking the back official. So This one picked up and through the neutral zone. Edmonton on the attack as this will go across the line. There's Miller and just a step at the line. Ashton was barely offside. Miller's right over immediately. They kind of, ah, that might have, might have been my fault. Don't worry about it. 8.20 to go here in this second period of play as we continue along this afternoon, friends. Welcome aboard to Cold Lake, Alberta. I'm Tyson Dolany inside Imperial Place here at the Cold Lake Energy Center. We're more than halfway through this game, it's a 2-0 lead for the Chaos. In behind, it goes to Tustin. Far side, Baldessar gets uh, that puck fired away from that side of the ice. And it'll come now for the Chaos back into the neutral zone as it worked out just a brief moment. And it's going to come back down low for Tustin. As Tustin gets it along the wall here and now back along... Lemaire is going to be able to play it back in and Reed just barely offside. Reed's still offside. Everybody yelling at Reed that he's offside. That was a quick one there as uh, the official had the offside and the entire Edmonton bench. Everybody got up and screamed about that one, making sure they didn't cost themselves an undue face off somewhere they don't want it. So this one comes for Tellier along the wall now against Reed. Battle in there. Trying to find this one up as this will come into the slot area. Opportunity in the middle of the shot. Fire scores. Edmonton goes up 3-0 on a pass to the middle. That one developed from the corner out to the front. Back of the net on wall. And it is 3-0 for the Edmonton Kale. 
just like that, right? Screaming at Reed to get back on side. Everybody was on the call there on the bench. And seconds later, it goes back into the zone, into the back of the net. So just like that, that's, that's a whole team effort there to make sure everybody's coordinated and then ready to attack moments later. 3-0 for the Edmonton Chaos. 7-19 to go here in this second period of play. It comes back down low. And this comes along the wall now, picked up by Edmonton to the near side. Backhanded down low by St. Albert. Smith chips. Edmonton goal, scored by number nine, Sophia Appleman. Assist to number eight, Amy Lemaire. And number six, Isabella Reed. Appleman. From Lemaire and Reed, time of the goal, seven minutes, 19 seconds. Regular thing here in this tournament. Right? That's awesome. Oh, oh, no, no, there's another regular thing. Oh, hold on, guys. Guys. You got me. Oh, not yet. I'm live on the speakers here in the arena right now. Sorry, friends, for those of you listen back home. Uh, <laughs> there we go. We good? Yeah, we're good. Puck in front there. I was on the speakers inside the arena. <laughs> All good. I'm going to have to go have a laugh with the crew there. That uh, A little bit of interference or whatever's happening on the mic. I don't know if you're hearing it back home on the live stream or when it comes on my mic, but for some reason it's become a little regular occurrence. We had it happen for the first time just after the first game last night, and we still haven't been able to quite nail it down. Again, maybe it's an audio thing, I shouldn't be involved. But uh, 6.08 to go here in this second period of play. They had me on the in-house speakers here as well. So kind of a funny situation the way I wired things up here this weekend. So again, any audio issues, anybody back home this time up at the rink, you just- Edmonton Penny to number 20, Charlie Donovan. Two minutes for tripping. Time of the penalty, 6 minutes, 8 seconds. Donovan for tripping at 6 minutes, 8 seconds. He's getting ready this time. They found themselves in a similar situation yesterday against Calgary. Down 4-1, took a timeout, got some special teams times, and started turning that game around on a dime. Ultimately, it would lose 5-3, but still had a pretty interesting finish to that one. It was right across the line, short-handed, fires a shot towards the net. Misses about a foot wide on wall. St. Albert's going to load up the attack. Around one defender here for Edmonton. And now Legasic's on the up and up there through the neutral zone. Trying to get into the uh, attacking position. Can't do it now. And Park's going to backhand this one down low. Ashton goes back down low. 5.09 as the puck escapes Lou there at the blue line with 55 seconds to go here in this second period power play for the St. Albert Storm. Puck to the near side, Legasic. Gonna fire this one as this will be picked up by Suter. Suter turns and burns the four checker for Edmonton. This one now through the neutral zone, picked up by Edmonton to the near side it comes. Low and a tire is one of the Edmonton defenders. That was Tustin, but it's not gonna cost anything there as St. Albert just dumps it in and content to four check their way to the power play of presence. This one in behind the net, fired back along the far side wall, back down to Barkley. Barkley will fire the puck off the wall. Now into the middle there. Fideniak will come up with this puck. 4.20 to go as it's batted out by Edmonton. The penalty killing effort. 10 seconds away from being complete. Here in Edmonton. First penalty kill I think of the period if I'm not mistaken. And Smith will come back the other way. My mind starting, starting to mush here as this weekend evolves along. Trust me. It'll be pretty bad by Sunday. I promise you that. Four minutes to go here in this Second period of play, stripped at the side of the net, batted through the crease by St. Albert, couldn't find a shot towards that goal line, however. It came to the near side, and here's a pass there by Donovan, just missed Spring and Reed for the breakaway, as Tellier will get it going back the other way now, an opportunity for St. Albert to get it out. They do, and back the other way now, here comes Barkley, chopped off the stick, far side, batted along the wall, picked up by Barkley again. That one ends up in the skates, and Markley lucky there on the follow-through not to take down one of the Edmonton Chaos players and what would have surely been a tripping call there. 3.24 to go here in this second period of play. Back into their own zone. St. Albert rolling around. 
Back to the blue line, here it comes. I as will fire jam back into the St. Albert zone. Lee across the line, back over to Reed. Reed loading the shot, can't get it off. Schatz regroups for St. Albert. Back over into the neutral zone, and it will be an opportunity for St. Albert. At our blue, blue line to stand tall, here's Labucan. Back the other way. Down low in behind the St. Albert net. Chipped along the wall. Schatz is going to try and play this one. It instead comes to the middle of the ice. Picked up by Tellier. Fired to the far side. Batted out there by Wilson. And Wilson, good to see you on the ice again. I'm sure I missed earlier, but good to see Wilson back out there following a heavy collision earlier on in this hockey game. And St. Albert completes line changes. Good work there by Park to get to that puck and keep it in the zone for the time being. 22 or 228 to go in this period as Edmonton back to the way. Poked off the stick there. Ashton got it free for the storm. Along the wall, it comes to the near side. Carried out by Park. Park will go across far side to Ashton. Ashton dodges one. They're going to cut through two. And into that far side corner, and the puck goes. Park rolling along the wall. 205 remaining here in this second period. It's picked up by the chaos side back to the neutral zone jammed in there just just enough by Rachel Kaczkowski and there we have it it will indeed instead be offside on that attempt with a buck 53 to go the Hockey Alberta Foundation breaks down barriers to give every kid in every community the chance to play hockey keep the Hockey Alberta Foundation in mind as your choice of charities to find out more about the cause access funding or to donate Go to HockeyAlbertaFoundation.ca. We're into the afternoon and I'm feeling sleepy. Breakaway opportunity for Ashton. Just missed wide of the stick and then indeed ends up being an icing call against the St. Albert Storm. A home run pass that didn't quite pan out. That's only about the fourth or fifth one we've seen all tournament through. Now almost five games. 137 remains here in this second period of play. Right to the right of Wall will take the face off for Edmonton. Pushed ahead here in the corner as it comes back to the high point. Goes to the far side. Goltz will have gotten it over to Lundin. It works out back in the middle of the ice as the Storm will try and get the attack going. Ashton sees that one go past the stick. Stick goes flying and then Ashton throws a heavy hit there against Hahn. And I'm not entirely sure what caused that all said, but nonetheless, it'll be a penalty kill now for St. Albert with a buck 14 to go. As Hahn is also being escorted to the penalty box here, so both players going to the box here. One, I think, body contact, one head contact. Is that, I guess, a little pushing and shoving match up the whole way? And I guess they may be. Ruling it, uh, all right, there we go. We got a correction here. Let me go here. I haven't checked the chat in a few moments. I'd like to thank Wendy Billado for uh, correcting me here on the Edmonton Chaos on a name here is Diuna is how to pronounce Haley's name there. So, Diuna. So it looks like we're going to have an opportunity here for both teams to still skate five on five. Looks like it might have been. Edmonton penalty to number seven. Abigail Hahn, two minutes for head contact. St. Albert's penalty to number six. Jersey Ashton, two minutes for roughing. Time of the penalties, one minute, 14 seconds. My mistake there. 30 seconds to go either way in the second period of play. I'm looking forward to finishing off lunch here in a brief moment. Just kind of cut short there. Had to go wait in line there at the concession. Good to see they're busy over there. But 20 seconds remains here as we're starting to see friends from all over town here. Gear up for this one. Labucan on net. Fire off the post. Beat wall on the glove side. Just couldn't solve the iron. With eight seconds to go, and here's one more opportunity. Shot fired off the pads. A wall in behind the puck goes, and it'll be picked up by Suter. And that will do it for this second period of play. Taylor excitedly skates over to the 
net pretty excited after that one obviously a solid period there for the Edmonton Chaos and now the Edmonton uh, side will go to the dressing room look to figure out how to s sit on this 3 nothing lead and extend hopefully throughout the third period and for the St. Albert Storm a period well where they're going to go into the intermission regroup and look for obviously that opportunity to strike when it comes. Friends, I'm Tyson Olney along for the ride here this afternoon. I will catch you in a brief moment here after I finish up lunch. Catch you in a few.
All right, friends, hand signals, they work. That's what we've learned out this weekend, friends, as we uh, continue along here on this Good Friday in 2024. It is the U15 Tier 1 Female Division Hockey Alberta Provincial Championships as we continue along here in Cold Lake, waiting the third period between the Edmonton Chaos and, of course, the St. Albert Storm as we continue along here. 3-0 score for the Chaos, and we'll see what uh, what evolves here in this third period of play as we've got another correction here. This one passed along by Wendy earlier in the chat. Haley Diuna is how to pronounce the uh, number 17 for the Edmonton Chaos. That's one that I know I've made a point that I am struggling with, and I am happy to get the assistance there. Of course, Wendy, glad to hear you tuning in from Edmonton. Of course, uh, you know, it was a pretty good night for Edmonton last night, right? The Edmonton Chaos here in Cold Lake tied the game against the Cochrane Chaos 1-1. And then promptly right after, the Edmonton Oilers would go on to win 4-1 against the LA Kings in the other side of business for me. And uh, unfortunately, right, uh, for us up here in the broadcast, not able to catch too much of the game. I'm sure there's some of you back home that had the simulcast going, the dual cast, whatever you call it, where you got the old uh, Edmonton... Oilers stream on one, and you got the Edmonton Chaos stream on the other. I'm sure at least with 49 of you aboard, somebody, if not somebody from St. Albert as well, I guess both are Edmonton area teams. And really it's bold of me to assume that it would only be Edmonton area teams that somebody would do that for. But you understand where we're going here as we've got both teams setting up for this third period. But it was a good night of hockey for two squads. And now the Edmonton Oilers trying to get this job done here obviously towards the playoffs, distracting myself talking about the Oilers. So now as my boss at work would say, enough about the Oilers, get back to work, Tice. We'll talk about the Storm and the Chaos, both who are looking to finish this game off on a positive note. Biggest thing here is the St. Albert Storm know, even if they don't get back fully into this game, that every goal they get counts for something here towards the end of this Provincials based on the goals, four goals against differentials, penalty minutes, all that. So... Everything, no matter what you're thinking your situation is at this current moment of this third period, everything you do as either of these teams in this game matters towards the end. So both teams, again, have plenty to play for here as we roll along. It'll be interesting to see if uh, these teams can come up with the effort to get this going. And it's here. Ooh, baby. Guess what showed up today, my friends? There we have it. We've got the package down there to Bakersfield, California. As Patrick's too focused on the camera to figure it out. There you have it. <laughs> Long last. The jersey arrives down there in Bakersfield, friends. That's a long-standing return the favor that got done. Sorry, just had to distract myself a moment there to appreciate that happening. Again, for some reason, the ice a little ah, flooded uh, a little extra here today. Both teams having to take the extra laps as we fire up for this third period of play. Glad to have you aboard here in Cold Lake this afternoon. I'm Tyson Olney along for the ride with you all weekend long. We're going to have a little bit of a different program on Saturday. We're going to have a couple new voices join us here this weekend. Just kind of alleviate the fact that it has been, at this point, by the end of today, six games on the ledger for me throughout the weekend and unfortunately when you only get to do this once a year kind of makes it uh, <laughs> a little tough to have the lung capacity to go 12 so as much as i might like to by the end of this 20 minutes to go here in this third period park getting set to glide in for the face off here for st albert and we've got there we go you see him dancing on the bench there is <laughs> i think that's uh Izzy Reed throwing up the hands and dancing along out there to the music here in house. The Edmonton bench having fun. You can catch that on your screen right now, but now the face off to center ice we go. And we're set and ready to rock and roll. The Edmonton bench bangs on the boards a little bit there, and it'll come down into the St. Albert zone. 19.55 to go. We're back underway here in the third period of play. Time. How fast it winds off the clock here in the third period. That will be the key to... Pretty much probably figuring out what happens here the rest of the way home. Right along that far side corner for Edmonton. Backhand in the middle of the ice. Shot fired, blocked in front on the one-timer. And 19.37 now on the clock as the St. Albert Storm will play it out to center ice. Vidiniak taken out there on the way to the middle trying to cut. 
And that will be picked up now in their own zone by the Edmonton Chaos. In behind the net and went around and now picked up in the slot. The Chaos will make the pass to the middle of the ice and get out. And to the far side comes Edmonton for the attack. The shot fired off the legs of Lundin. Picked up by St. Albert off the boards. It goes in the middle of the ice. Both players still serving the penalty from earlier. That will expire here in a few matter of moments. As I think it was about 46.7 seconds left in the second period. So we should be off the clock here. Next whistle. One would assume as this Reed stealing the puck. Short side shot swallowed up by Wall. And that's one of those pucks. I don't even think Wall knew exactly where it hit. But just going to try and figure it out there as it's in the knee area behind the pad. So... We continue along here this afternoon, friends. 18.57 to go in this third period of play. The two Edmonton area squads doing battle here in this third period. As this will be a face-off. Down and one back here by Edmonton. As, uh, or sorry, by St. Albert. As it will be picked up by Lundin in behind the net. To the near side, Ashton's out there. Like I said, right after the face-off. As this one's picked up by... Edmonton fired towards the net as it comes down low. Both players battle in there for it as Reed rides all along the wall there, Lundin, and it comes back to the middle of the ice. Smith knocked off the stick. Back to the blue line and out all the way down. Draw weight. Is it perfect? It'll be no icing. There was a touch on the way. Tyson getting excited about nothing. That's never happened before. As this one will come off the boards now. St. Albert in full possession in the neutral zone. Looking to make the pass through. It'll be carried there. Fired in by Barkley. Down the wall to the far side. Tustin goes to the boards and fired up along the wall. Back to the blue line. Goltz will fire the shot. From the near side middle it comes. As this one will be battled out there. And Donovan trying to get that puck going. Just taking a tumble there. Was Lee losing an edge right at the blue line. Going to have a stoppage in play. Uh, we would like to thank our gold level sponsors for their generous sponsorship Heidi Lube and 54 North Power Sports. <laughs> each other out there on the ice. Get it back into possession for Chaos. It comes along the wall now. Picked up by Brunouge to the far side. Like this one will go to the near side. Inside the St. Albert zone. And this will be a face off now for Reich. As I'm um, probably going to need a moment to collect myself here. Park scrambles the face off to the near side boards. It's Edmonton with control. Pass to the middle. Cut off there by Park. They'll go in behind the net, back to the middle as this comes to the high zone now and fired from the point there as Reich will spin off a loo and it'll go into the boards battling around. They're both trying to tie that one up and it comes free in the middle of the ice. Knocked back down low by, I believe, Owens. And now Park's got the puck to the far side, rolling around the corner, up in the middle and it comes to Fadiniak all the way into the Edmonton zone. But that is, there you have it, the icing call in effect. The pass just misses with 16-17 to go here in this third period of play. 3-0 lead for the Edmonton Chaos. So This one to the right of wall this time on the icing call. Donovan Park in the draw right there off the back. Kachkowski able to grab it and fire it around the wall there for St. Albert. Now Legasak will come after it there for the St. Albert Storm. 
And they come now behind the net for Kaczkowski again. Around the wall it comes for the Liniak. And the Chaos are able to keep it in. One more time. Dangerous bounce. I took a moment to react to that one. I mean, it was going wide by a foot, but you don't usually see that much open space when the puck's that close. And that just was a nasty hop. Edmonton firing everything at the net here. Three opportunities on net just never clearly got on the target there of Wall. And back the other way, Park's going to lead ahead to the outside on the left wing. Pass into the middle. Can't do it. And it comes back now to Laboukan. And it'll come now free into the neutral zone off the table lee skated on by miller and fired back in to the edmonton chaos zone so we continue along here in this third period of play 15 ish minutes to go tellier can't hold the line it'll be batted out to the far side picked up by lamare and fired into the st albert end in behind wall it comes to the near side corner tellier looking to make this play along the wall tying up there with Reed as Barkley will come up with the puck here now for the St. Albert side. Shot fired towards the net. It's Yuna firing the shot towards the net and again still tying that puck up and down low it goes to Reed. Reed will fire off the side of the net. That one hit the mesh of the net, bounced up straight and then off the back of the ice there in behind the net and just kind of took that hop that allowed the Edmonton Chaos to keep this zone time going. Edmonton still keeping it going. Here's Reed in tight, stick handling in a phone booth, didn't work out. Opportunity from the point, deflected in front, rebound denied by Wall. 14.22 to go here in this third period and Edmonton just got some great A chances. That one off the stick of Wall and just about hopped out in front again as St. Albert will push it down the length of the ice and that the Hockey Alberta Provincial Championships, presented by ATB, are a celebration of hockey across the province. Throughout the competition, remember the importance of teamwork and sportsmanship for all involved. For all the results, go to haprovincials.ca. to Suters. Suters looking to make this play up the wall. It'll come into the middle of the ice now. Ayaz will have the puck. Shot fired to the far side. Picked up by Link. Turned back by Suter. Suter trying to get up going through the right wing. Can't do it in the Edmonton chaos. Bat it back out into the St. Albert zone. 13.45 to go. As this game starts to get a little more urgency to it I think from both sides. Edmonton knowing they can really do themselves some favors with another goal here. St. Albert looking to definitely do the exact same as Suter up along the wall here trying to get it past Colin. Can't do it there. A second opportunity for Brunouge will get it out center and Schatz has it for St. Albert lifting into the Edmonton zone. But this one again, another icing call against St. Albert. We'll have a stoppage in play with 13-18 to go in this third period of play. Give me a second here, friends. I just have to respond to a message as we continue along. Here to this far side, the shot fired towards the net here, blocked in front by the stick of Lundin. The shot still comes from Charlie Donovan and it'll be fired to the near side, picked up, but then he stumbles. Still will make the play. It was chopped down by Edmonton, but enough of an effect there by Fedeniak to get it into possession for St. Albert and get it back into the chaos zone. 12.55 to go in this third period of play. 3-0 the lead for Edmonton. This one batted up off the wall. Fired in by the chaos. Down low, Goltz will go to the far side. Along the wall now, Legasic with the puck. Stumbles off her stick into the middle there, and it'll be tied up now by... Uh, Edmonton as it comes along the wall and to the far the near side corner so it comes as Park will fire this one back up as Fedeniak will get it to the middle of the ice. This one picked up by Legasic. It's knocked off the stick. Down low it goes to Goltz. 12.20 to go here in this third period of play. Reversing his Goltz. Falling to the, both knees was Goltz there but still recovering nonetheless was Goltz. And this is going to be pushed now ahead by the Edmonton Chaos. Into the middle is Lundin. Back to the blue line. As I uh, wasn't sure what that was, but I'm pretty sure I heard what I heard as the chaos will fire this one into the zone. Apologies if you heard that on the stream. 11.56 to go here in this third period of play. Reed turns it back the other way. Picked up now by, I believe, Lundin. Fired towards the net. Right on target by Lundin into the pillows of Taylor, who's 
had a rather quiet afternoon here as this third period wears on. As this one is Tustin getting across the line. Tripping call up coming against the St. Albert Storm. And 11.38 to go. This is going to be a major kill for St. Albert. Looking to obviously get some momentum in this hockey game's third period. Edmonton so far getting the better of the chances. And now it's up to the penalty killers to try and solve Edmonton here and get back on the attack moments later. Face off for mm -hmm. Barkley. St. Albert penalty to number 13, Autumn Smith. Two minutes for tripping. Time of the penalty, 11 minutes, 38 seconds. Smith tripping at 11.38. St. Albert's able to force the face off inside the Edmonton zone. That will do it for a penalty killing effort. I will tell you that much. That is a that is a way to get the penalty killing done, getting deflections on the other goaltender. Lucky one there taking a hop off the uh, hop off the stick of one of the Edmonton players in front. This one through the neutral zone. Shot in by Brunouge to the far side corner. Another good turn back by the St. Albert penalty kill, which is for the most part been absolutely stellar here in this tournament thus far when needed to be as this will cut up through the middle to the far side pass goes to link link looking to make the play here as everybody on the edmonton power play sets up in position tip off the stick of a st albert player and lundin's able to yard sail it all the way down the length of the ice to taylor taylor's out there to play it down low for ayaz and there will come free now played off to the wing as st albert gets the turnover blow Baldessere will fire it into that far side corner, just again doing the heavy penalty killing job that St. Albert's done several times over here in the tournament thus far. 10.29 to go with 50 seconds remaining here in the power play for the Edmonton squad. This one will go to the near side corner, now picked up by the Edmonton squad in that near side corner. The Chaos looking to bust out, going for line changes, so Smartly, they cut the pass off at center ice instead of allowing it to go to the far side bench. 10.04 to go here in this third period of play as we've got a 3 nothing score for the Chaos here to go to the in-behind wall. And down low it goes with 18 seconds to go in the power play. Now coming to the near side wall, picked up by Suter, deflected off the sticks. On to the Charlie Donovan, fired up over top of the net. Donovan sees that one go just wide over top and now picked up again by Edmonton at the top of the zone. Mocknack. Pass to the far side, gets through on a perfect seam pass, and then there was a battle in front. Smith's able to come out of the box. Everybody a little distracted on what was going on in front of the net, almost led to a chance the other way. Instead, it's Edmonton turning and burning back in the offensive zone. St. Albert promptly cutting them off with 9.23 to go. Is this to be fired back into the zone in behind? Miller's out to play the puck. In the far side corner on the defensive recovery. Is that one... Uh, not going to be icing. Everybody Everybody seemed to have touched that puck on the way through the neutral zone. Down low it comes into the Edmonton end and it's picked up now by Legasic is trying to force that one to the far side boards. As 8.58 remains in this third period. Friends, you know, what time is it even? We are zipping along here. Um, along here as this one goes to 122 on the clock right now as we're a ways away from starting the next period on an offside there. So uh, here we go. We are rolling. Uh, let me see if we can answer this question here for Sharon. We're trying to find a name on the roster, I'm assuming. Yeah, that would work out. Uh, Sharon, if you're asking there um, about Carly on the rosters here this afternoon. We've got Carly Wilson for the St. Albert Storm. I assume that'll answer the question for you here as it comes up off the wall. Picked up by Ashton as this one continues to roll along as it goes to the far side. Goltz gets going. I actually do pay attention to the chat once and I actually become useful on the call here as this one comes to Ashton here in the middle of the ice, dancing around the defenders through Another teammate offside, Ashton then immediately rushes in on the far side after keeping possession right along that blue line. And it comes now back the other way for Link. Link will look along the wall here. Brunouge going to the far side as this continues now. An opportunity there along the wall for Reich. Reich gets it to the middle there and 
and end up scrambling up to the far side wall where it'll be chipped out by Barkley down the length of the ice into Taylor. Off the paddle it goes, 7.45 to go here in this third period of play. And this has been Edmonton's MO in the tournament in the previous game and so far tonight. Get a lead and just play with a lead. They did it for 57 minutes last night and they're doing it so far for 52 and a half as they will continue back the other way across the line. Brunouge back to the middle of the ice again both players for St. Albert right there along the bench is trying to go for a line change but that puck is sitting right there in front of the bench as it so often has throughout this tournament for some reason or another that's where the puck wants to congregate when players are trying to change as another player seems to have lost a neck guard out there as uh, I'm not sure as Schatz is looking around feeling that the neck guard's gone and allow Schatz to play on here Without grabbing the neck guard, 6.54 to go here in this one. Back the other way it comes. And it looks now to roll back through the neutral zone here. 6.45 as things continue to roll on here through the middle of the St. Albert zone. Nice play by Laboucan to get it down deep into the St. Albert Storm territory. Park is knocked down. And this will now be freed up by shots. Shots will fire it in. Taken out there on a collision at the blue line got it in deep however with 620 to go here in the third period and so now two players colliding there Padiniak and I believe Donovan right there colliding in on the near side blue line a couple of collisions right around the blue line area in the chaos zone back to back and none of the players worse for wear as it'll be back headed back down deeper into the chaos zone but now developing on that pile up a two on one the other way for the chaos here's Labucan the shot on goal fired save made by Wall scrambled up in the crease and out it comes back to the blue line for Diuna and the shot save made again by Wall scramble in the crease still loose Edmonton another opportunity to shoot as it continues to roll around tied up there by Fadiniak trying to free it up and it's the St. Albert Storm able to get it out to the far side bench. I have to say that's probably the biggest scramble we've had in front of the crease all tournament long thus far with five and a half to go in this third period to play. Diona back to the attack here. Reed quickly jumps into the action. Far side it goes to Tellier for the Storm. Back to the blue line. Tustin's going to fire a shot. It's going to work into that far side corner. And I got to catch my breath there. That was a lot going on right in front of Wall who's able to keep every single one of those pucks that touch the pads out. 5.05 remains here in this third period of play. Pucks fired back to the blue line. It's going to go there, a shot for Tustin, who fires towards the net, blocked in front. It's one collision in the middle. It's going to work around through the high part of the zone. Reed's going to get a partial break right down low in the zone. Peel back to the far side wing. Think better of going in right on net. And Park's going to roll back to the blue line here as Tustin's going to fire their shot off the... Skates to Legasic, another shot there in front blocked, and another shot fanned on as Edmonton's starting to just throw everything towards the net here. Nothing to lose by scoring a couple more goals, I guess would be the Edmonton mentality right here on this ship. And this one continues to battle around Wall with the pad down on the far side, near side pass to the middle, shot blocked in front. Yuna with the puck, able to get it off the skates of Fideniak, and to the far side it goes. This is some solid pressure here from Edmonton, but now cleared out by Legasic, who will wisely take the icing call that actually pans out to go all the way down, right onto the tape of Taylor, and we're going to keep rolling here. This one's uh, getting the Edmonton crowd quite involved in it. They've got the bells just uh, ringing here inside Imperial Place. 3-0 the lead for the Edmonton Chaos, the St. Albert Storm. Gonna try and get something going here. So this will go to the far side. Now for the chaos. Three on two back the other way. Shots blocked and a big one right there for St. Albert. Here's the other side too for St. Albert. As Ashton comes back, we'll have the call on this one over to Smith. Just missed the pass through the skates right there. But here's the big part for St. Albert is if you indeed with three minutes, three and a half to go, if you're the coaches and you're like, okay, this one's not gonna go our way. You now got to play to keep the goals off the board the rest of the way home because goal differential is so important in this tournament. Is this going to be tapped around the middle of the ice? Smith has it taken away. Donovan poked off the stick there, and it's going to be tapped back to center ice as it continues to roll around that high blue line area outside the St. Albert zone. Donovan along the right wing taken down on the ice there, and it's worked out in the middle of the ice. I think it hit the linesman. 
And it's going to be Ayaz with the puck. Here for Edmonton. Lab again. To the far side. Goes right through the middle now. Picked up by St. Albert. Fired back in. And that will be a nice and call. With ATB wants to thank all of you for your commitment to fair play and family. Your passion... Passionate about hockey like we're passionate about listening to Albertans. Direction to the official. The net is off the moorings. And we're going to get that resituated here. Wall and a couple of players have talked things over with the referee. And now the puck dropped there to the near side corner. Picked up and Reed comes right out of the corner. Jams one off the pads of Wall. 2.33 to go. One thing I would be interested to see is now we've started seeing coaches in uh, higher professional levels start to uh, pull the goalie with three goals down. I wonder if St. Albert, if they can get some zone time, look to push for at least one goal in this game with the net empty. 2.16 to go. In behind it goes to Reed. Pass right in front. Wall wasn't ready. Kicked it out standing up. Old school. That was a nice save there. We'll keep it 3 nothing. Suter over to Reed as this one's stripped away there by Lundin. Back the other way now. Here's an opportunity of sitting right now for the time being. Is Wall in net as Lundin trying to push towards the net here. You can hear the crowd yelling on the instructions as Lou gets the shot from the point. Fire towards Taylor. Rebound in front. Lou comes up with the puck again. Drifts it towards the net just wide on the left-hand side. This one back to the blue line now. Chipped out there. Cut off by an on-rushing Ava Miller at the blue line last second. A buck and a half to go in this third period of play as Wall's still in the net for St. Albert. So no concern there, I guess, on my part as Miller will come rolling around to the far side. Picked up by Legasic. Legasic's going to go back the other way. Fideniak will poke this one ahead. And this will be Hahn turning it back for Edmonton. Back into Link's stick there along the wall. St. Albert looking for one last chance with a buck ten to go here in this third period of play Edmonton turning and burning out of the zone to the far side goes to Miller down low and Miller will tie up there against the Edmonton chaos player dragged out of the corner picked up now by Legasic trying to work ahead against a heavy Edmonton forecheck or uh, backtrack I guess as this one goes to the far side corner and picked up by Edmonton off the skates it goes and now here's a chance for Legasic who's uh, obviously been out there a little while now trying to battle along the end wall 35 seconds to go here St. Albert wants to make sure they keep every last second of this game in the Edmonton zone if they don't end up scoring as Fidelic will fire it around to the far side Legasic out there still with 23 seconds to go Lou's going to backhand this one down low fired off a stick there by Fidelic and to the far side to the near side it comes up off the wall, 12 seconds to go here. Shot by Tellier, fired off the pads of Taylor. Eight seconds remains here in the third period as we wind down the clock. Off the bench comes Brunus, trying to rush this one on with two seconds to go. One second remains. Heavy contact there as the game finishes up. As everybody comes out rushing from both benches, the Edmonton chaos with an ecstatic crowd here on the left-hand side of the rink. Celebrating off their first victory of the tournament. No time left on the clock, friends. That is it for this afternoon's game. As we continue to look along here. Um, is this continuing to roll? Uh, friends, I'm going to take a moment here to read my phone and try not to say words at the same time. My apologies. Uh, as we continue here. Um, Susan, welcome aboard as we got... Uh, we got this one definitely mentioned here. Yes, Wilson did uh, end up in a collision earlier in this game for the St. Albert Storm. Definitely a noticeable player out there prior to that. As we got things going here for the handshakes, well, fist bumps, I guess you could say. And uh, Susan, glad to have you aboard as well from Vancouver Island. Friends, thank you so much for tuning in this afternoon. Really do appreciate you being along for the ride here on Cold Lake Ice TV today. My pleasure having you aboard for today's hockey game. I'm just going to quickly check something over here as I'm thinking we've got an issue with the stream. I have to check to see if we're not nearly as bad as it looks. Uh, it doesn't look nearly as bad as I think it does. 
And that looks pretty solid there. And I'm going to see if we can uh, upgrade the stream quality here by the end of the tournament a little bit more. As it looks like we might only be pushing 360 today. So keep that in mind here as we go to center ice to have the players of the game and stuff here for this one. As the referee is talking things over with one of the coaches here last minute. We'll get things sorted out here for this one this afternoon as we get the players of the game and the heart and hustle obviously figured out and then I'll let you go here on a good Friday afternoon so we continue to uh... St. Albert player of the game number 29 Karina Wall heart and hustle number 3 <laughs> St. Albert's Heart and Hustle Award goes to number three, Sydney Liu. Edmonton's player of the game goes to number nine, Sophia Appleman. And Edmonton's heart and hustle goes to number four, Mikael Lebrushkan. Thank you so much for being aboard for the ride here on Cold Lake Ice TV. I'm going to go quickly finish off lunch here. We'll get to the action here. 